Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's everybody doing today, YouTubes? Man, child. All right, so I finally got in some more spawn, right? From uh, so we got the new she spawn from Todd McFarlane Toys. Yeah, I seen her a while ago. It was announced on the uh, McFarlane Toys website. That's actually where I got her off. I pre-ordered her and finally came in along with some other figures I'll be doing reviews on. But look at the weapons accessories. Just that box alone. Absolutely gorgeous. These are our back art, right? We've got the weapons layout. Yeah, she's all gunned up, ready to go. Get out of her way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm loving it, man. 22 moving parts, highly articulated. I never thought we'd see a new she spawn again, especially in a new modern sculpt. That's, that's just awesome. Yeah, as I'm still unpacking it a little bit, check it out. You get this cool background, and you get one of these, you know, typical stands, which I don't I don't care for these. I use a Kaiser on her, say a lot of my videos. And, you know, they have the plastic bubble thing, right, glued, and then when you rip it off, you destroy it. <laughs> so, all right, that's a, that's a downfall of the background, but it's, one, it's cool. It comes with that. Okay, we got her out of the package. Man, look at what a gorgeous sculpt. Right, that figure is so awesome. Uh, just their size. And that's one thing, too, with his newer Spawn series coming out, or the remastered Spawn series, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, they're 7-inch. They're just, um, the articulation is just totally night and day from his older stuff. And not, His older stuff still holds up, but it's very statue-like. But look at the hair and just all the aesthetics. So up close, we got her face and hair. Yeah, that, that sculpt is awesome. Um, now, a lot of his older stuff, and I'll compare one, actually has real braided hair. And technically, that's a doll, you know. And if it's plastic, sculpt this action figure. <laughs> Who cares? I love them all, but yeah, that's really neat. He did that. That's just so I that's so cool. Um, the head, yeah, it's got just a spawn mask. Check out the eyes close up, real great paint detail, right? Head articulation you can look down, back, it's on a ball joint, spin, and for the hair, look at that. I can head can go all the way that way if you want. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, yeah, the collar, it's got a real soft collar in the air. This is this is all sculpted to the body, this black leather piece. It's got the typical spawn aesthetics, right? His uh bio outfit. And yeah, the stripes and the articulation too. We got the waist, got the ab crunch. So all right, forward, back, can spin there, and can also spin at the waist. It's real tight in here, but and then these the V won't match up. That sculpted piece, but for what it is, I, I think it's yeah, it did a great job. And for right arm, right, we got the leather going all the way down. Uh, swivel, bicep swivel, excellent range of motion. A lot, you know, good stuff. See little pins, but name bags, all aesthetics. You got them spine. Spines are real hard, by the way. Got some looks like gold. I don't know, some type of shell, shock and shell almost. The way around here, sculpted. It's kind of, that's glued on. And I got the wrist. Um, now, these hands are, wow. You They almost cut your fingers. That's how hard these are. So you got to be careful putting weapons in hand. And then we got the left arm. Got Check out that skull. There's spawn skull. All in steel. Chains also glued on. Same thing with the articulation. And this is also a cl closed hand. Looks like a left-handed. Okay, they're both trigger figure hands. And since she comes with an open hand, I'll show you that. But yeah, that's so that's all for as far as the arms. You have really good detail in the back, spines, this whole deal. And of course with our waist, so we already said the ball joint and the, and the waist spin, and then you know, she has this nice little chain on. It's also glued on by one side, so up, nothing else to it. Legs. I love that articulation go all the way out. Yeah, just look all this different armored, man. <laughs> a big boot. That's that's all soft. Double knee joint, go all the way back. Okay, like this, she has a foot, can, you know, the foot one can spin, high heels, you know, nothing better than that, it's a uh, <laughs> spawn lady. Ball joint, these are really tight, and it's got a, okay, the toe there, but it's funny, like I said, you put the stand in here, and she'll just, after a while, she'll do this, or fall backwards, and see, I'm just doing it by hand, her weight, really heavy. And then we'll go with the, um, the right leg, got, like, some similar to spawn pouch, but it's not, it's a spine, so, okay, it's its own thing. Double knee joint all the way back, same thing. Different static as far as boot. This kind of matches up there. And the same thing, just all excellent sculpting in the toe and foot. So yeah, low to articulation, 22 points. This makes these figures so much fun. Yeah, there's a back, <laughs> very sexy. And of course for accessories, yeah, this, this is a ladies pack, man. Check out that gun, some type of uh, futuristic Hellspawn sniper rifle. Uh, you know, it's it's... It's good, like it's nice and hard in here as far as a plastic, and then of course the bow, you get this gummy. I never cared for that. That's that's another complaint or a gripe I want to make with a lot of his stuff. It just warps. It looks silly after a while, but anyway, nothing else articulates as a handle. It should swing down, you know, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, big magazine, some type of scope that 
can't even doesn't make sense but it all looks cool it's a spawn you know and we got some type of futuristic assault rifle this thing i don't know what shoots what looks like you have like an m4 under here with some type of machine gun barrel i'm just judging by the magazine hand grip you have another thing here with another M m16 m4 mag with its own little gun barrel up here Okay, we got hand grip <laughs> another like a nine millimeter looks like magazine back there an ak-47 mag up here got hell spawn chains all over it all right it's our uh call it the right side and there's our left yeah the detail is really cool you know, a little tape on hand grip look at this little like nine millimeter 45 caliber shells coming off in a belt yeah i like that gun that's that's different and we have another smaller assault weapon same thing looks like some, some type of m4 style mag i like the taping they got another mag reversed yeah, bow, hand grip, the whole deal, scope. Looks like it attached. This would be a collapsible stock. It doesn't move in. Mine's a little warped. Same thing. It's soft in these areas back here, but not too bad. But that's cool detail on that, too. Then we have this cool sword. Yeah, look at the spines. This way they painted them. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Yeah, nice handle. This is a nice... This is. I like the texture on this plastic, too. It's not too gummy. Then we have a spare open hand if you want to switch out for the left side. I'm not going to use that. I don't think I'm... but show you comes with that and we got this huge bladed staff weapon um yeah this is awesome look at this thing pretty cool uh yeah the texture too it's not too bad it's pretty hard i like that but then you get down here and it's like this isn't also mine's a little warped you know but you get the, that gummy plastic is what i'm saying i see this with a lot of stuff it's all warped and flimsy now once you get it positioned in both hands you can kind of hold it straight but uh, i i don't care for that with the weapons and then but anyway this is the body excellent detail look at that thing it almost looks, I don't know what that's supposed to represent. It looks like another weapon. It looks like it has wiring sculpted with a switch or something. Maybe it's a bomb. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Spikes, but yeah, so that's kind of that weapon. All right, we got a little weapon layout there. I got two guns in hand, like on a box art and a little stance going. Yeah, it looks, man, it looks so cool. And there's our sniper rifle. I, it looks awesome, but you can't really do anything with it. You can kind of hold it like that. So you see what I mean? I mean, you can stress your arm a lot to, all the way out to shoulder fire it. See, she's falling, but I can't really, that's the best you can, you know, you could try to lock the arm like so to hold it, but that's the best you're going to do. It's almost like when I'm pre post things to make it look just intimidating, you know, something like that. It's the best you can do with it. All right, got our little assault weapon right hand. We got the sword in the left. Check that out. And the final accessory, we got our big staff. I don't know what that is at the other end. <laughs> Mace weapon in hand. And we'll wrap the video up with a couple comparisons. So this was one of, I think, the last release. This was in the mid-2000s. Might have been like the She Spawn Reborn series or something. But curious if those two look like together. And this one's great detail too, but very limited articulation. Weigh only a couple points, but has real hair. Yeah, you got the spines in the back. Um, really cool. And this was the other repaint that matched the red one. And it came with this wacky weapon. So, so did she. Curious what that looks like close up. So how to, there's a couple differences in as far as color, but that pretty cool. I mean, it holds up well, and you could probably use it in that spawn's hand. But and it's funny, look at that piece on the back. It kind of matches exactly what this thing is. Now I look at it, it's interesting. And that's a back view of them again. She has a long hair. Now what's funny is this one has like a. I don't know if that's normal. It's almost like like mine was damaged or cut. Seems harder too than this. I don't know if that was meant to be in that figure. It's interesting, but everything else looks the same. And here's the staff. It's inspirational with her. That staff she came with, so kind of compare all that stuff together. And this she spawn was the first release, like series one or two, I think. Check that out. And I mean, for today, it's still kind of cool, holds up in a sense, but obviously night and day with you know scope and aesthetics. But that's kind of them two together. And turn around, to, yeah, she has this piece that comes off, it's kind of the back with this wacky blade and dragon mount that's supposed to be coming out of her. But yeah, it's you very unique. So overall, that was my review on the new She Spawn by McFarlane Toys. Yeah, I, I think she's beautiful. You know, awesome uh, aesthetics, detail, paint. Comes with just over-the-top accessories. Some are you can't do much. You know, the sniper rifle's limited. It seems to me old school aesthetically. You hold it one arm up or you tie it around her back. This is a really cool weapon, but gummy. But it's not the worst once you get it in both hands. I like the guns. Yeah, the stand's kind of cruddy. I, I use the metal ones for everything because it'll wait after a while, but... Overall, I, I'm super happy with her. So I hope to answer all your questions. I hope everybody's doing great. And until next time, take care.